After two years of almost nonstop growth, Minnesota's housing market is finally cooling off. The new October housing report from Minnesota Realtors shows home sales down 31% compared to last year. WCCO's Alan Henry spoke to local agents who say the drop isn't necessarily a bad thing, just a return to normalcy. So you're looking for your first home to purchase? Yes. yes. Okay. Great. Shelly Montbrian Pomonis became a Remax agent in June. A lot of people paid maybe fifty or sixty thousand dollars more than asking, and sometimes there are twenty-three offers on the table. But since then, things have cooled off. Typical for this time of year, but even more so with the impact of inflation and interest rates. Things really turned, and so now we're seeing properties that have been on the market for even a couple of months. The number of uh, applications for mortgages have dropped quite significantly. The um, number of buyers in the market have been outpriced at one point, and now they're being out interest rated. Realtors tell me buyers are the ones benefiting from the changes in the housing market. Earlier this year, they might have had lower interest rates, but they had to give offers a above the asking price just to compete. Now they may face higher interest rates, but they have more time to explore their options, negotiate a better price, and not skip important things like inspections. So you pay 6% for your interest rate? You can negotiate that and refinance your house. So I would say that that is actually a better option than paying $60,000 more than it was listed at. Which means one of the biggest purchases of your life might actually be more affordable now. We're seeing more open houses, we're seeing more negotiations through with buyers, we're seeing sellers willing to negotiate, and that's been a long time since it happened. Alan Henry, WCCO, 4 News. The National Association of Realtors expects home sales to continue declining into 2023 before eventually rebounding in 2024.